right there is at the same time basically yeah it was really cool i think um it's definitely super exciting for you know front row motorsports right we've seen michael have, and and us have really good speed right and being in the top 10 but this is our first one too so um i was super nervous going out there at the for the second round just because i know how good michael is like obviously the driver doesn't make a huge difference here but michael's still really really good at this type of stuff and i, I figured they would pick up some so um yeah just didn't pick up so much as them but um overall really fast car yeah when you have a super speedway guru like micro mcdowell how uh how much you're able to take away from him just preparing for these type of races going into the weekend yeah yeah we've prepared a lot and um you know, i think honestly you know his situation at talladega right leading the whole kind of last run going to that you know obviously the the last lap there i think we've watched that multiple times right and, and we've gone over maybe what he would do different what he you know thought was perfect right or if he would do anything different so um, I thought that was a really interesting situation to kind of get inside of his brain and um, yeah, just check it all out. It was, it was really cool. To have the, the key starting spot and a good pit stall, does that give you guys more control of the race, give, given you know the chaotic nature of Super Shoot? But does it almost put the race in your hands that you know, not give up that track position on pit road? Yeah, it's it's definitely really nice to at least have a good starting spot, right? Like it's you can pass and um, you know I'm sure we'll be at the front and the back throughout the whole race at some point, but at least being start up front right the field is the deepest it's going to be right when the green flag drops and um you know recently i guess we've kind of seen i mean at least in the 500 right an early wreck and it's just nice to be ahead of those you know first few incidents i feel like so obviously anything still happen um i could still be at the back in, in five laps right guys could split me in, in an instant but it's just really nice the biggest thing i think is just have a really fast car you and michael both need the same outcome tomorrow is that kind of a frenemy uh, situation that you guys are setting up yeah, I think honestly both of us know how hard it is to be in the in the situation, right? For one of us to win, let alone both of us, right? If we're together, so um, I still think our mindset, um, and we really haven't talked about it a whole lot this week, but I think our mindset's definitely still help each other out, right? It's um, you know best for our team and and still best for each other to have each other's back, and, and even selfishly, right? You you might have to let him in, or he might have to let me in for you know one time throughout the race, but um, it still be really nice to, to have each other's back coming into it. And like I said, it's it's hard enough to win these things uh, by yourself and, and put yourself in that position. So uh, I still think it's it's really a good thing to have each other's back out there. What did you and Goodyear learn the tire test? <laughs> yeah, it just always blows my mind that how many different options they can do, right? Or like just how much it changes the car. Obviously, we, when you're tire testing, at least the way we did it, we didn't really make any changes to the car, right? We got it fairly balanced on the control set of tires and then um, you just switch tires and your balance is one thing and another you can be half a second difference on lap time and uh, it just really blows my mind at, at how much that can change but um, overall I, I definitely think everyone has the same goal in mind right is just going to a softer tire um, I saw Kyle Busch talking about it right is that going to fix everything because you know, there's still a little bit of an aero issue probably right even in a place like Martinsville but um, obviously the, the disparity in speed will, will make it much easier to pass so um, we tried a lot of tires some fell off a lot some um, didn't really so um, yeah I feel like we put in a lot of good data a lot of good runs and uh, so now it's kind of up to Goodyear NASCAR. To your point can we get there through the tire alone or is the shifting kind of still the larger issue there? Yeah, to me, it's it's a very fine line, right? Like, I want to say they did try a test where they didn't shift, right? But then you just have such low RPM that then you're really just stomping the gas, right? So, in a way, you know, the RPM is kind of helping, right? Because you can spin the tires slightly, right? But at the same time, right now, the tire is really wide. So, with those RPMs, now you're just gone off the corner, right? Because you can still get to the gas hard any of the RPMs, where in old cars, you know, the tire was a little bit narrower, um, and you still had RPMs, but you'd spin the tires. So, it's it's all a fine line, and it's really hard, right? If if dirty air wasn't a thing, all, all of racing would just, you know, the fastest car would always win. So, um, that's not the case, and, and I'm sure it'll continue to get better, though. Michael's only your teammate for another 12 weeks. What's the biggest leadership impact that he's had with you? Yeah, I think um, I think just seeing his leadership skills in general. I think, um, you know, it's something that I thought about, um, you know, going into front row that I knew he was leading the, the ship and, and pointing the team in a good direction. But now that I'm being there, right, he's 
doing so much behind the scenes. He's pushing for putting the right people in the right places. Um, and really, like my first year in, in the Cup Series, right, I didn't really have a good feel for who even was in the Cup garage as far as, um, you know, mechanics, crew chiefs, spotters, really the whole picture, right? So um, just throughout my, my three years now, I feel like I'm way in a better spot to, you know, kind of recommend people, right? It's still not my job to manage the whole team, but, um, it's just really an important position for the driver to push and um, you know push everyone to, to continue on to the right direction so that I feel like.